Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you for all of your support, all of your likes, all of your shares, all of your comments. If you are interested in a private reading, please just click on my website. I do have it linked below in the description bar. Lastly, I am on social media. So I am now on Facebook. If you're interested in liking my page on Facebook, please do. I am also on Instagram. And if you are interested in receiving a daily Oracle guidance message, I do draw and upload a daily Oracle guidance card every single day to my Instagram account. So if you're interested in that, then please head over and, and follow me on Instagram. Oh, and, and one last thing, um, for these general tarot forecasts, you should always be sure to watch not only your sun sign, but also your moon sign and your rising sign. If you happen to not know what your moon or rising sign are, I do have linked in the description bar below a website that actually can calculate that for you for free. So I wish you all a wonderful week. Just stay tuned for the reading. Hi Virgo, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of June 27th through July 3rd. This is for Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and Virgo Rising signs. Okay, Virgo. At the bottom of the deck, I have the Four of Wands. Now, the Four of Wands, it is my happy home card. So this can absolutely represent a home that's quite significant, something to do with, with the home or something going on within the home. Also for me, um, the Four of Wands talks of, of marriage, of family, stability, security, um, longevity, things taking place um, that are that is going to things within your life taking place that um, you know is going to bring in that stability or that security um, but also maybe last for a very long time. All right, Virgo, you have some very interesting energies. Let's see here. Now, the overall energy, Virgo, for the entire week is judgment. So this is a karmic energy, but also judgment can represent um, a judgment call, a decision. This can be something legal. Um, Maybe some Virgos may be even waiting on that legal decision, but also judgment can be that judgment call, that decision. Maybe this is a decision in regards to a home. Judgment also represents rebirth, rising up from, from the ashes, rising up from a difficult time within your life. This is second chances. This is new beginnings. So we have the three of pentacles here, and this is a worker energy. We have this energy here. So something that you've been working very hard on, Virgo, I definitely see success coming to this week. We have the three of pentacles sitting next to the two of pentacles. Now the two of pentacles can talk of doing the same thing over and over again absolutely but this can also represent a decision a decision about a home a decision about um, you know money or a job something to do with your security um, because it's pentacles so because we see this progression the two of pentacles with the three of pentacles this could be you receiving that decision Virgo maybe there's a situation within your life and you put you've been putting a lot of energy into this because with the three of pentacles it's that worker energy this is you know something that's taking up a lot of your time you're putting a lot of your focus upon this and really working incredibly hard so you know this could definitely be that judgment call that decision coming to you um, 
and it's because of that maybe work that you've put in to this situation. Um, now, because I have the Five of Pentacles underneath, but also the Ten of Swords here, the Ten of Swords is you going through many difficulties. This is a difficult time or a difficult cycle within your life, but um, maybe you've been waiting on a decision that allows you to, you know, fully uh, put this behind you, to to you know, finally close the door on this cycle or this chapter of your life, Virgo. Maybe that's what you've been working so hard trying to do. Maybe this decision will allow you to do that. Um, but also with the Two of Pentacles, like I mentioned earlier, it can be kind of feeling as though you're doing the same thing over and over again. And with the Five of Pentacles here, this can be feeling down and out. Um, feeling left out in the cold. And maybe for some of you, you're feeling down and out because Maybe a situation was confusing or maybe the same thing was happening over and over again. Um, this can also be you losing faith with a decision, feeling left out in the cold. So for some of you, it definitely can have something to do with a home or a home situation. Um, and maybe this is an energy that you've been feeling uh, because with judgment here, I definitely feel like this is, um, you know, this is a week where you're literally maybe now being allowed to rise up from this, this difficult time within your life, rise up from this difficult period, uh, because this is, this is a healing energy. This is rebirth. This is healing. This is the Phoenix rising up from the ashes. So, you know, for many Virgos, this week might be the week that you're finally maybe allowed to, um, you know, shut the door on this, to literally maybe leave this, this um, chapter behind. Now, I also have the King of Cups here sitting next to the Queen of Cups. So for some of you, this is definitely uh, maybe a family situation. There could be a relationship that's quite significant here because when you have the king and the queen of the same suit and the same spread sitting by, by side by side, especially, um, this is, you know, something to do with a relationship, something to do with your, your spouse, something to do with the family here. Um, so this judgment could be in regards to a home and it's affecting maybe you and your spouse, but also for some Virgos, this could be like, you know, a legal decision. This could be a divorce um, that's maybe becoming final. This could be even a decision from your significant other. Maybe you've been waiting on a decision from your significant other. And this could definitely have something to do with a home or something to do with the family with the Four of Wands. Um, but Virgo, I feel like this is, whatever this is, however you're relating to this, I feel like you are leaving behind a difficult uh, chapter within your life and you are actually now coming through quite successful with maybe being able to do that because you have the Emperor. You have the Emperor with strength here and this is a lot of fiery energy and I feel like for many Virgos this is you gaining control gaining control with maybe this decision but also this is success the Emperor represents success um, you being quite successful with this decision or this new beginning um, you know this could even be you being quite successful with um, you know maybe moving to a new house maybe you're waiting on a decision of, in regards to a home but this is a lot of fiery energy this is definitely um, for many Virgos with strength here this is you maybe taking the bull by the horns maybe you've been patient with you know with this situation throughout this situation but you know with the Emperor here and this fiery energy I feel like for many Virgos this definitely could be you taking the the bull by the horns taking back your control or taking control of a situation literally maybe having enough having enough and 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 just literally needing to rise above this you know you also might be incredibly intuitive with this king of cups here no matter if you're a man woman you know 
these water sign um, people, they're, they're highly intuitive. Um, they're also very emotional, but they're very much in control of, of their emotions. So on the surface, you know, you could have been going through something Virgo and on the surface, you're very cool, you're very collected, but you know, things are maybe affecting you on an emotional level. Um, yeah, for some of you, there could be a water sign person that's quite significant this week, maybe a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces around you that's quite significant, um, spouse, family member, friend. But I feel like this is, honestly, this is going to be a great week for you. I see progress being made. The Two of Pentacles is turning into the Three of Pentacles, which can be you know, rewards, decisions coming to you. Uh, this is a healing energy. This is you rising up from the ashes, rising up from a difficult time within your life. You're coming through quite empowered um, and, and actually really, really successful with maybe um, finally being able to leave a difficult chapter behind, um, successful with moving on to a new beginning. Um, maybe moving towards something that's going to last for a very long time or maybe moving to a new home. This is also perhaps you spending a lot of time with your family. This is celebrations as well. And interesting enough, Virgo, when I just lifted this card up, we have the Six of Swords here underneath it. So, you know, for many Virgos, maybe this is the judgment. This is the decision that you've been waiting on that allows you to move to a new home. Maybe you're making the decision to move to a new home this week, Virgo. With the Six of Swords, this is you moving forward. This is you moving towards peace of mind, moving from a particular place, environment, or situation to a much better, much more positive uh, situation, place, or environment. So this is forward movement, moving towards peace of mind, not having to you know, worry anymore. Um, overall, I think it's going to be a great week for you. I, I see you being very balanced. Financially, I think you're okay. Um, I see you very fiery. I see you very intuitive. And I really see many of you finally being able to, to shut the door on this difficult chapter within your life. Let me draw you an additional guidance card. I'm actually drawing you a couple of additional guidance cards this week because I'm still using my Messages from Your Angels Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. This is the deck that I use every week. But in addition, I'm also using my Healing with the Fairies deck. This is a new deck. I do love it. So I felt like I wanted to uh, incorporate it into the, the weekly forecast for this week. So some additional guidance for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know for this upcoming week? Some additional guidance for Virgo. There we go. This card just kind of flipped out. All right. And some last additional guidance for Virgo. Wow. Cards are just shooting out for you, Virgo. We have two cards here. Okay. Oh, wow. Very nice, Virgo. Okay, so the first card is Opal. Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. So if you're a Virgo who has been worried about your children, just know that they're, they're okay. They're well taken care of. There is no need to worry. But also for some Virgos, this judgment might have had something to do with your children because that Four of Wands is also you know, a card of family. So this could have definitely been, you know, for some of you, this could have, this could be a divorce and maybe there's, there's children involved and custody issues. Um, and this could be the week that you're receiving that judgment uh, in regards to maybe um, your children. But I see, you know, I see everything going well for you, Virgo. Um, and I see for many of you, you finally being able to close the door on this chapter of your life. So this is, this is really positive. Now, the two additional cards that I have for you for my Healing from the Fairies deck, this is beautiful. We have Trust Your Intuition, which is what I was getting in the, in the forecast here. Trust Your Intuition. Your intuition is, is probably going to be incredibly strong this week, Virgo. So trust your intuition, listen to your intuition. And then we also have laughter. Laughter is very important this week as well. 
So make some time for yourself, Virgo. Maybe some of you need to spend some time with your children and just laugh. Just laugh and have fun. Okay, Virgo, so I do hope that you found this reading helpful, and I hope you have a great week. Take care.